One of our most popular clocking tools is the mobile app, which can track GPS at the time of clock in and clock out. The mobile app is strictly a clocking tool, so it is only available for employees. Admins cannot log into the mobile app as it only has the functionality to clock in and out. If you are needing to view time cards or reports, you will need to access easytimeclock.com on your device's browser. The app does support the use of projects, breaks and lunches, alternate clock out buttons, and work sites. The first step to the mobile app is granting access for your employees. This can be done in the setup menu in the access page. You can choose specific employees to grant access to or choose all at the top of the column then save changes. Employees can download the free app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. They will use the same three credentials as if logging in from a browser, company login, username, and password. However, the mobile app does not allow employees to create a password like the website does, so make sure employees set their password on a standard browser or you can create a password for them on the employee setup page. After you've granted access, you have several tracking and restriction options. By default, the app will try to track the employee's GPS location at the time of clock in and clock out, and any lunches or breaks in between. However, employees do have the option at the point of download to disallow location tracking. They can also turn GPS tracking off from within the app. You are able to require them to include their coordinates from within the access page. That way, if they have not allowed the app to grab their location, the employee will be notified that the punch was not accepted and will tell them they must allow location tracking. To view the GPS coordinates for each punch, go to the Reports menu and the Access Report. In the right-hand column, you will see IP addresses, and for mobile app clocking, you can click on the GPS coordinates to view the location on a map. If GPS tracking is necessary for every punch, you may also want to choose mobile app only in the access page. This will mean employees can log in on a browser to view their time card, but clocking can only be done through the mobile app. So what if you don't want employees to be able to clock in from anywhere except a designated geofence location? In the setup menu, clock in restrictions, there is an option for mobile app GPS. This restriction is different than the others on this page as it only restricts the mobile app, but allows web clock ins with no restriction. So if you are wanting employees to only clock in from a geofence location, Make sure you have chosen mobile app only on the access page. Back on the clock in restriction page, choose mobile app GPS. There are two options for setting a location. If you are currently in that location, you can click get current. Otherwise, you can enter the address manually and click get address. From there, you can use the red circle to customize the area covered. It is important to note Phones aren't always able to capture the precise location, so we recommend providing a generous radius to account for these slight imperfections. Multiple locations can be set up by saving and adding a new address. Occasionally, the app may tell an employee the GPS is out of range, even if they are most certainly within the authorized area. This just means the phone is not triangulating correctly. Because this is more of a phone issue than it is an app issue, there is nothing that can be done within the app to fix it. But you may have the employee try turning the location feature off and back on, or go into Google Maps from their phone so that Google can pinpoint the location more accurately, then try again. If your employee sees a blank screen when they log in, this can be caused in two different ways. One way is to not include a company login when logging in and the other is when the phone is not getting enough data coverage.